saffron today. So saffron is the most expensive spice in the world. So um, I'm going through like all of these different spices that that we had in the kitchen. And um, I came up on a saffron. I'm telling you, I wish I had the little box with me. It was like three, about 20 little strings in this box. And I'm like, little bitty boxes like this, right? It had about 20 strings in it. So once I found out all of these great properties that saffron had, I'm like, man, if you see some more saffron, you better get me that and put it to the side. Then I found out it was the most expensive um, herb in the world. It's the most expensive spice. And what makes it expensive is because, I'm going to show you a little bit. He ended up coming up on a, on a big, um, well, nice size jar of it. I told him to go back and look for some. And then he said, hey, hey, babe, I found some more. So I, I got you on that. And I'm like, okay, bring it through. So he brought me this. Now, this is considered a lot. This bottle right here is 14 grams of saffron, and it is anywhere from $75 to $84 or $85.99. Okay, so you only use a little bit of the saffron. This is what it looks like. A lot of Spanish people, or Spanish people that cook Spanish food, Spanish rice, um, you can use saffron in that. It'll turn the whole pot red. You see this little bitty thread? This little thread, that's all you use when you're working with saffron. Just the little little threads. So some things call for more threads. Um, like for instance, um, for some of the treatments that you use with saffron, it'll be about basically this much, even less than this. That's too much. Like to um, put in, like, okay, I'm going to go into the qualities, the, the properties of it because you use about like this much you know, or less, depending on what it is. They're saying that three strings of this will turn the whole pot red of saffron. And the reason it's so expensive, because it is the most expensive spice on earth, it's because of the, um, it's a very um, labor-intensive harvesting um, method that they use for it. So it's extremely um, expensive, like 450 grams, which equals one pound, it costs anywhere from $500 to $5,000. So again, this little bitty jar that I have right here, this is an $85 jar that I was blessed with. Now anyway, so <clears throat> what is saffron anyway? So saffron, uh, what does saffron do? So um, I was looking for it to make some um, love bags because I understood that saffron had a lot of uh, properties of, um, you know, for lust. Um, it's an aphrodisiac. Um, it's been made, you know, for many, many um, centuries, all the way back, you know, in love potions. And um, the Egyptians use it for, um, for like, lust and, you know, um, desire. It, it just has those kind of qualities. It's a very up quality to, um, to the saffron. I know there's a lot that I personally can do with it, a lot. But I want to just go into some of the healing properties of saffron because I, I really want people to understand, you know, if you're not using it even for the spiritual properties, there's a lot of healing properties. So saffron can improve your mood. It treats depression. Um, it reduces PMS and cramping. And like I said, it's an aphrodisiac. It helps with sexual dysfunction in men. Um... It really can build the sexual energy really to a real high level and, and you can have some intensive sex with this herb, which is why I use it in my love work. And I will be making quite a bit of, of bags for this. Um, it can also um, be used to reduce your appetite. And I think he said, one of the, the gurus or the teachers I was listening to said, if you add it with warm water, it can increase your appetite. If you do it with cold water, you actually lose weight. So it's, it's a weight loss and also um, it can reduce appetite and it also adds in weight loss, aids in weight loss. Um, it protects the brain cells against progressive damage. That means over time, you know, it, it, it does protect the brain cells, which is probably good for some of those, uh, some of us weed smokers <laughs> because you know, as as we know, it, it it kills our brain cells, but more generate. But this helps also protect the brain cells. So that's that's actually a good thing. Um, it acts as an antioxidant. Um, it aids in heart disease. It prevents arteries from clogging. Um, it's it's it has cancer fighting properties. 
I mean, I could go on and on with the great things that this um, root does. It lowers the blood level and sugar, diabetes. Um, it improves your eyesight and blindness and other eye-related conditions that are related to um, things like macular degenerative, um, like AMD, and then it's also like it helps with Alzheimer's. So this root does a lot of things on the healing um, tip. So for some of you that may need some of those qualities, don't sleep on this video. Go back and look at it and, and get healed. You know, it's a lot of things. You can just add a little bit of it in your food. You can put just some in the food, just a pinch. You don't use a lot of this. You use this very sparingly, the, um, the saffron, very sparingly. I'm going to actually um, flip the camera around so you can see it better closer. Okay, so this is um, what it looks like. Let's see if I can put my um, flash on too. See, that's the saffron. Okay, and you and like I said, when you're working with it, you're only working with threads. Literally, these are threads, like one thread, two threads, whatever, right? So um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give y'all some information on saffron if um, you've never heard of it. Um, it, it has a lot, a lot of great qualities as well as qualities for love and passion. It's an aphrodisiac. So for those of you who are interested in that, other than that, again, you can go back over this video. Um, I'm going to go over the qualities one more time for those of you who may have missed it or wasn't paying attention or whatever. So again, health benefits of saffron. First of all, saffron is from a, a flower. I didn't really go into that, but it's from a purple flower. Um, I didn't go into all the scientific aspects of the flower, but it's the, the middle part of the flower. It's, so it's, it's all pulled out. Everything's done by hand where it was in the past. I'm sure they may have some other way they do it now, but it's very tedious. Um, it is called the sunshine spice because it has the you know qualities to aid in depression, to uplift your mood. Um, it's good for, um, you know, um, erectile dysfunction. Like I said, it's an aphrodisiac. So again, rising, you know, it helps the mood, it lifts up the mood. I call it the, the, um, the elevated plant because it, it elevates everything or makes it rise. So it's good for, you know, um, for rising. So I'm, I'm assuming, and this is just me on the spiritual vibration. I'm, I'm assuming that it would also be great for the Kundalini. Um, because that's what it's about, lifting the mood, lifting the, the energy, the vibration, sexually and otherwise. Um, again, it protects the brain cells against progressive damage. It's, it acts as an antioxidant. It reduces PMS symptoms and cramping. Um, helps with the declogging or preventing clogging of the arteries. Um, helps in AIDS and heart disease. It lowers the blood sugar levels. Um, it improves your eyesight, blindness, and other related conditions or age-related uh, macular degeneration, which is called AMD and also Alzheimer's. So it's also good for the mind. This is a very, very spicy and um, high-stimulating um, root. And it's for, you know, stimulating in the, the mind. I would say the head. It's a head stimulator because it stimulates the head on your, on your body and it stimulates the head on your body. So the head up here and the head down there. It's, it's, it's really um, one of those type of, of roots, though, that, you know, it just kind of awakes you up. It, it, it's alerting, you know, so it, it turns on passion. It turns on the lust. It turns on the thinking cap. It turns on all of these different things inside of us. It makes the mood good and make you feel iry. So I'm sure it has some type of a calming catnip effect to it as well. But um, I've tasted it. It has a, a very pungent taste and smell, you know. But anyway, I'm not going to go on and on about it. That's saffron. So um, peace, love, and light. Stay tuned. I hope you guys got something out of that video. Ashe.